The kind of constituency function that makes many politicians' toes curl, a tea dance for example, has never been a problem for Keith Baz. How are things with you? All right, thanks. That's a very pretty yes. dress. Yes. Is it yours? Yes. Right. Here he was wooing <laughs> voters some 30 years ago, just before he was returned to Parliament for Leicester East. One, Keith Anthony, the Labour Party candidate, is elected as the member of for Leicester East. The first Asian MP in the Commons since colonial times. We fought on the issues of jobs, housing, education and health. So I'm absolutely delighted. Morning. Keith, a bachelor, lives with his mother Merlin in Leicester. She's a local councillor in his constituency. I was very late. I get back at two o'clock in the morning. Were you awake? I certainly have had representations from members of the Asian community from every city in Britain and indeed from many places outside Britain. And I'm conscious of the fact that my work has to also include their aspirations and their desires. It was such a significant moment for us Asians, of course, that you, you, know, you, could, you, you weren't destined to be the small, quiet shopkeeper for the whole of your life. But also in terms of the black struggle and power and the story of this nation. In all the brickbats slung at Keith Vaz, he's never been accused of being a shrinking violet. When a Bollywood star drew 6,000 fans to a signing in Leicester, the local MP was on hand. All I can say to you, as a former Member of Parliament, is please don't stand in Leicester East. After Tony Blair entered Downing Street, Vaz, by now a married man, joined the government and became Minister for Europe in 1999. But soon he was dogged by controversy. He was accused of using his influence to help the wealthy Indian Hinduja brothers gain British citizenship. A parliamentary standards watchdog accused him of secrecy over payments by the Hindujas to a business owned by his wife, though he was cleared of benefiting personally. In 2002, Vaz was suspended from the Commons for a month over false allegations against a former senior policewoman, Eileen Eggington. He was found to have given misleading information to the House Standards and Privileges Committee. I couldn't bear it that so many of his inner circle were, in my view, um, uh, unwholesome rich Asians, you know, and that sometimes he didn't know, seemed to know the boundaries of, of public office. But all that I say changed in the last decade. Mr. Brand, I have a final question for you. It's not quite um, a variety show, Mr. Oh, Brand. <laughs> we have... We You're have, providing a little bit of variety, though. Mr. Brand, uh, you have... Making it more like Dad's army. Mr. Brand... <laughs> Keith Vaz reinvented himself as the suave and loquacious chair of the powerful Home Affairs Select Committee. His colleagues have mixed feelings about his tenure. Too much desire for publicity um, it could be said for the committee, but also for himself. Um, and I think to some extent it undermined, and I, I emphasise to some extent, the credibility of the committee. But after allegations in a Sunday paper involving Mr Vaz and male escorts, it's widely expected he'll confirm tomorrow that he's stepping down as chair of the committee, which has been reviewing prostitution laws. Mr Vaz says he's referring the matter to his lawyers, calling the role of the newspaper deeply troubling. Tonight, the former trailblazer is a figure of ridicule. Though he's been around long enough, he's already read his political obituaries more than once before.